Hello everyone in Edu for Equity channel. I'm Aman Hamid Dean, and today, inshallah, we're gonna speak about solo taxonomy and with the English version. So this video will focus on the, um, the definition of solo taxonomy and the importance with a comparison between bloom and taxonomy, uh, bloom taxonomy and solo, and the video will end with a small or simple um, example of solo taxonomy now what is solo solo stands for structure of observed learning outcomes that provides educators a simple reliable model of students understanding with the three levels of understanding actually surface deep and conceptual now to understand the structure or the taxonomy we're gonna talk about how it works it starts with the pre-structural level of understanding. That means there is no understanding. The learners has no idea about the topic. Then unistructural level of understanding. Unistructural that means that the student has only one information, one idea about the topic. What about if the learners, if the learner has more than one idea? So that means he gonna go to the next level which is multi-structural level of understanding now this uni and multi as you can see it works with what or deals with what with quantity now if the student or the learner has more deeper understanding of the topic he will go to the relational where in this stage the learner can connect ideas together what if he has more ideas if he has more ideas or um, um, a deeper understanding that means he can negotiate he can discuss that that level we call it extended abstract level now let's compare between bloom taxonomy and solo taxonomy if you can see here that in the in the, within the pyramid okay the verbs here it um, refers to the type of the uh, learner's thinking in which what does he do with his th 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 um, uh, learning process in what he what, how can he think or he how can he process sorry he, how can how can he process the idea this is the bloom taxonomy while in solo it describes the process of learning itself it's not the process of thinking it is the process of learning the process of questioning answering the questions so solo is really really important because it helped to uh, converting the teaching and learning from teachers teacher centered to student centered usually in Bloom Taxonomy, teacher will categorize students into levels. So she will say, or he will say, this is, these are the low achievers or on level or high achievers. Why? So we're applying solo taxonomy, the students themselves will decide their own level of understanding. How? By picking the level of success criteria by picking the activities that they can do oh i can't do this activity it's too complicated i still cannot design maybe i can compare oh no if he can um say i still cannot compare maybe i can describe or maybe i can still the first level which i can list or define or choose so here this the student becomes responsible of their learning students become they they own their learnings i won't speak about visible learning because i prefer to um, talk visible learning in special video okay in separate video so solo as you can see it is a hierarchical taxonomy it increases the quality and the quantity of understanding and it is a very powerful tool for teachers to to provide differentiated 
curriculum or differentiated activities for students. So as you can see, it provoke also or simulate teachers as well as students to ask deeper questions. If we can see here in the solo mapping, solo two and three, as we said, okay, it deals with that quantity, how much information the student know, how much in uh, the how much uh, information or the student how much knowledge, okay, the students have, is it uni, is it one or more or multi. So verbs like this, the, t the teachers can use, for example, the first level, the students can identify, decide, find, choose. While in solo three, which is multi-structural, in this level, the students can describe, solve, okay, complete, list. What about the qualitative level of understanding where the student can relate? When, when the student can relate, can relate, he can ex explain, analyze, compare, plan, summarize, or he can discuss, which is the level five of uh, solo. He can reflect, he can predict, he can criticize. This example will help us know Okay, we have the same question, but it will help. It help. It will help us to know how can we categorize the levels of understanding. For example, for uni, okay, before uni, before uh, for pre-structural, that the student will say what? Oh, if the question is what do you know about houses, so he will answer, what is a house? While the uh, the pre were, were, while the unistructural level okay the student can answer like houses are where humans live he has only one information what about the multistructural multistructural he can list for example parts of the house he can say houses are buildings they are made of walls a roof doors and windows but there are no connection between the parts of the house and the benefits. While in the relational, he has more knowledge, he can connect ideas, okay? So he, he might say, houses are buildings for humans to live, to find shelter. To provide shelter, the house ha might have a roof. That might, the house have a roof, which is, uh, which protect the house from, for example, from the rain. So he knows the importance of the roof. He's connecting information. What if he has more information than the lesson? Okay, so he, he's an extended abstract. So he can connect while adding more new ideas about the lesson. Maybe he can say kinds of houses. Maybe he can say, talk about animals' houses. Or he can design his own template or, or own house. So I hope this example will, uh, will help you more to understand the solo. And we will talk, uh, we will have more videos actually about the uh, solo. How can we apply it in different lessons, English, science, math. So the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.